We are talking today about the best makeup products of 2023. Hands down, these items I consistently have used over and over and over again. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marlena. I've been a cosmetic product developer for over 15 years. So when I test product and find things that I love, I'm really, really picky on makeup formulation, packaging, all of that. So I wanna show you what I believe are my favorite products of 2023. Before I show you the first product, I will say that not every single product that I'm mentioning is brand new to 2023. Most of these are, but there are a few that have been around for a while, but I'm putting them in this list because they are new to my personal collection and I consistently use them throughout the year and they are still my favorites that I would roll into 2024 keep using. So the first product I have is a primer and it is the Lancome La Base Pro. This is the most gorgeous primer to give you a flawless finish to the skin, especially for me, I'm over 40. I need something that's gonna sit well on top of my wrinkles, my fine lines, my pores. This does that. It's a silicone based primer, so I really recommend using it with a silicone base foundation. You guys need advice on that. I have a lot of foundation videos I've done this channel. You can check them out. But as you can see, I've only had this for six months or so, and I've already come down pretty far. That's how much I've consistently used it. If I want a flawless full face of makeup, I will always use this primer. Now let's talk about setting sprays. This is not new to 2023. It's been around for a bit, but I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. And it is the best setting spray I've ever used. It's by Melanie Mills Hollywood Setting Spray. I purchased this year alone probably six bottles of this and I'm almost out. I'm gonna have to buy another one. The formula of this is incredibly light. When you mist it, it's a very fine mist, so it doesn't choke you out or anything like that. It's very comfortable on the skin. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't cause my face to itch. And I'm telling you, it locks down your makeup. If you need your makeup to last 18 hours or so, this is your girl. It is an incredible formula and it's a woman-owned independent brand. So I will always support other women's businesses because I know they put a lot of effort and heart into making their products. Next we have is brushes. And this is another independent woman-owned brand. This will not surprise you at all, you guys. I've been talking about these brushes all year long and they are by Anissa Beauty. So Anissa is sponsoring today's video. However, I have purchased with my own money many brushes before I ever took a sponsorship from Anissa because I truly love the quality of these. They are hands down the best quality you can get for synthetic brushes and especially at this price point. I really recommend these and I use these every single day. I'm not joking. This foundation brush, you guys know I've talked about this a lot. I use these all the time because they are so such great quality in the detail of the brush handles. She has the custom handle here with the logo. The fibers are incredibly soft. It's really hard to make brushes with really soft fibers that are synthetic. And I think Anissa has done a great job at that. They last a long time. I have used this actual brush for well over two years every single week, multiple times. I've washed it, I've thrown it in my travel bag, I've thrown it in my purse, I've thrown it in the car. It still looks brand new. Like the lettering hasn't faded, the hairs haven't shed. This is an incredibly well-made brush. So I really love the pinnacle foundation. It's what I use to buff it in. I love the triangle shape because it gets under the eyes, around the nose, like hands down. I'm not joking, you guys. I have three of these brushes, one downstairs, one in my travel bag and one up here and I use them all the time. There's not a single brush from this brand I haven't like even their eye fan brush is the perfect size for tapping on shadow under on the eyes. Their angle concealer brush, guys, best concealer brush I've ever used. You've seen me use it a lot, especially on Instagram too. I love their travel pinnacle foundation brush. It's what I use to apply my cream blush. It's what I use today. Just used it actually. Applied my cream blush. I use it to blend out my bronzer. I travel with this. I buff in my foundation. Every single brush from the brand, I have loved every single detail of it. I think she's done a great job of bringing high quality to the table. And Anissa, as a brand owner, is an incredible woman. She's very kind. She's very genuine. And she really is passionate about making good brushes. Next product we have is concealer. And this is concealer of the year. I think there was a few brands that launched concealers this year, but the Natasha Denona one is my personal favorite because it comes in so many different colors and lots of undertones, which is really rare for a brand to have that many colors. I love the packaging of it. it, has the soft touch. I love the wand. It's kind of that triangle shaped wand with a little hole in it, so it picks up some product. And the formula is very creamy and lightweight. Do you see that pigmentation? Even when you blend it out, it gives you incredible coverage, but it's not thick, it's not cakey. So I'm able to use this under my eyes without it making me look tired or thick or heavy. It's just a great formula, really smooth, but still gives you great pigmentation. Next product we have is foundation, and this is new to my collection. I think they launched this year, if not in the last couple years, but it is the foundation stick by Merit Beauty, you all. 
this formula, incredible. Especially if you have dry to more mature skin, you need something that sits on top of the fine lines and pores. Gorgeous formula. So I love the packaging of this. It's very elegant. It has a twist up applicator on the bottom, but the formula, incredible. It has a nice kind of satin finish. So it's not too matte or cakey. It's a lightweight formula. It's very comfortable on the skin. This is the formula I use day to day when I'm in a hurry and I want something that just gives me a little bit of coverage, but that looks like actual skin. It is the best cream foundation formula I've ever used hands down and I love the applicator. I love everything about this. The color is perfection. Definitely my favorite foundation of this year. Next product we have is Loose Powder, and I know this specific one didn't launch this year, but the newer colors did. There's a pink one, there's a golden one that launched this year, and that is the One Size Beauty Blurring Setting Powder. It is such a great formula, you all. Best I've ever used, ever. I really like this one because it is a finely milled formula, so you can tell it's triple milled or very finely milled when you rub it on your skin. It has this very soft, extremely fine texture, which is blurring on the skin because it doesn't it look thick or cakey. It's a very lightweight formula and it has just the slightest sheen to it if you guys can pick it up. So it doesn't look matte or thick or heavy because it gives a very natural effect to the skin that looks like actual skin. It lasts a long time. It's a big container. So I feel like the value is there. There is not a single thing that I could ever complain about this product. It, it's perfection in my eyes. I think Patrick did an amazing job on that. So that's my go-to loose powder that I will probably use for many years to come. Next product we have are cream blush. Blushes. And I don't think these are new this year either, but they're new to me. They are the Tower 28 Cream Blushes. This is my favorite color, the Beach Please Magic Hour. I use the mini pinnacle foundation brush from Anissa, and that's what I'm actually wearing today. So I pick up some of the product here, and I tap off the excess on the lid just to really kind of smush it in the brush. And then I tap it on... And you all, it gives such a beautiful dewy effect to the skin, but it doesn't pull up my foundation or powder underneath, which is really hard to do with cream formulations. A lot of the time they're very tacky and they can pull up the powder underneath. These do not. They sit on top of the skin, but still give you that very dewy effect. And the pigmentation level of this is perfect. It's not too much, but it's not too light where you have to keep applying it. Just one coat gives you the color and the finish that you need. Next product we have is a highlighter, and I can't remember if it launched early this year or last year but it is fairly new-ish. You guys all know this one. It is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, you all. This is the best drugstore product of all time that I personally tried. It is the best highlighter that I've ever used. And may I say, it actually beat out my beloved Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter that I've had for years. I'm not buying her anymore. I'm saving some money getting the e.l.f. one because it's so good. It's so good, you all, because it has the big doe foot wand. And what I like to do is apply a little bit on the back of my hand. It gives you a beautiful dewy look without it being shimmery because the Charlotte Tilbury one I do love, but it's a little bit shimmery, just a tiniest bit. This is not, this is glowy. So I like to take a slightly damp sponge, pick it up like this, and I just dab it on top. And it almost gives you a little bit of a concealer effect too. So it has some pigmentation, almost like a foundation, but it's super glowy. It's great for wearing on its own, mixed in with a foundation or on top, like I'm doing now as a highlighter. Do you see the shine to my cheeks? Gorgeous, but it's not shimmery. It doesn't look fake. It just looks like I'm dewy and healthy and glowy like I drink water today, even though I just drink coffee. Now let's get into the eyeshadow palettes, you all. I have two that are my absolute favorites. You guys will not be surprised at this as well because I talk about them all the time. The Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. Now I know people are like, oh, it's a nude palette. We all wear nudes every day. Let's just face it. It's okay to have a neutral palette. It's not like this is a groundbreaking color story, but it's really beautifully done. I love her palettes because the packaging's incredible. I like that you can drop off the pans if you want to switch them out. But most importantly, this formula is great. I really enjoy a lot. The mattes are very blendable. So if even if you're a beginner, they're really a easy to blend out without having to work too hard. And the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous, but still at the same time, very wearable. And I love this color story because it goes from light to deep. It has kind of a neutral coolish tone, a little bit warmer with the pink shimmers and mattes. Like it's a beautiful story that works every day. I consistently pull this out anytime I need just a neutral look. This is the one I keep using all the time. And then the other palette that I believe came out early this year, maybe the end of last year, was the Huda Beauty Empowered one. For warm colors, 
gorgeous. If you guys have blue eyes, you should have this in your collection. It's insanely beautiful palette with lots of warm tones with these peaches and oranges. It has the metallics in here. There's a cream shadow. There's a rich black. Like, look how pigmented that is. So insanely gorgeous. And the mattes are very soft. They're very easy to blend. They're just the right amount of pigmentation. Not too much, but enough to where you don't have to keep adding a bunch of layers on. Love the packaging on this. And I think Huda's been very innovative with having some of these marbling shades in here, which I haven't seen a lot of other brands do. So gorgeous palettes. I reach for this one all the time this year. And then the other palette that I have, it's not really a palette, but they're single shadows. And this is an independent on brand. And this is Terra Moon Cosmetics. You guys have seen me talk about these a lot because this formula is incredible. And I'm telling you, is I've formulated eyeshadows for over 15 years, and this is probably the most innovative, unique formula I've seen in a really long time. If you guys like very high shine, metallic, glitters, dual chromes, unique textures, look at that. Do you see, that's one swipe you all. Let me show you on the back of my hand. Look at that pigmentation. And do you see those shifting and the light? And she has so many different colors that are incredible to choose from. If I wanna do a very elegant or dramatic or just, you know, dual chrome fun look, hands down, I always reach for these. They are at the top of my eyeshadow drawer because I love the formula that much. And I love that it's an independent owned brand. It's a woman owned brand. So I like to support women owned brands as well. But the formula, best dual chromes I've ever used. Now let's talk about lip products. This is a new lip product, but also a new brand. It's by Allie and she launched her Revee Beauty. And she started off with these three lip colors that are almost like a lip balm slash lipstick. It's a gorgeous formula, you all. They come in a slimline tube like this, which I think is very elegant. It's very sleek. It very much matches Allie's style, which is simplistic, elegant, chic. I love the colors that she chose for these as well. She has three shades and I'll swatch them here for you all to see, but I really like this formula because it's pigmented just the perfect amount. It has a slight shine to it, so it's natural for every day. I feel like these are the ones I gravitate to on day to day. If I'm wearing just a little concealer, mascara, and I just want a color on my lip that's very comfortable, these are the ones that I grab for. They're not tacky at all. They're the right amount of pigmentation. I think she did an exquisite job on the formula, the packaging. Her website is designed really well. You could tell she spent a lot of time making sure that these were high quality. So I love these so much. I hope she comes out with more colors, more products, because I know she'll do an amazing job and she'll be very thoughtful in the products that she puts out. I, th I think she put a lot of effort into these and did a great job. Next lip product I have is not new to this year. It's new to my collection. It took me a little bit to get on the Lisa Eldridge shopping bid because I didn't have them near me to try. And I was like, oh, I don't know what colors to get online. You all, Lisa's lipsticks insanely good. I know she's launched a lot of products. She had her foundation, I think, that launched earlier this year. I love that as well, but her lipsticks are incredible. My favorite one that I've talked about a lot is Le Mapri. It's the perfect nude, perfect formula. Like, this is the one I go to all the time. If I had to pick one color of lipstick that I use all the time, it's this one. The formula feels like a lip balm, but it's a lipstick. It has a slight shine to it, so it's very natural. For me, as I get older, I need something that has a touch of a shine, so it doesn't make my lips look small or shriveled up. It's just a very comfortable formula. And I love her packaging. It has the magnetic clasp on here. It has the Deboss logo. You can tell she spent a lot of time making these feel like a very very elegant, special lipstick. So I think the price point is very warranted considering how amazing the quality of these are. And then lastly, to add in a fragrance to this, I know it's not makeup, but it's still in the beauty space is this fragrance right here. I put it in my best fragrances of 2023. I'm putting in this video too, because it's that good. She's pricey though. Don't light torches outside my house, you all. I am telling you straight up, this is an expensive perfume. It's one of the most expensive in my collection, but it is holy grail status. I love it every single time I wear it insanely good quality. It is the Clive Christian Noble Collection, the Blonde Amber. I don't even know how to describe this other than it is a rich amber that's slightly sweet. It has so many key notes in here, but it's expertly blended. For me, when I smell a fragrance that's hard to pick out the key notes, but it still smells super luxurious, I know that it's expertly blended because you can't pick out one thing. It's not like, oh, here's a rose fragrance or here's an amber. It has so many notes in it that's perfectly combined. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect fall winter fragrance because it's slightly sweet it's rich it's a little dense has a hint of spice in there it has that amber and again it's hard to pick out those notes but it's such an exquisite fragrance and the longevity of this is insane it has supposedly why these are so expensive it has high amount of fragrance oil in it so it lasts a really long time one spray you guys 
I sprayed it three to five times one time because I wasn't thinking I was in a hurry and I almost choked myself out because it's that potent. Like one spray is all you need and it will last two days. I'm not exaggerating. This shirt right here, I wore this yesterday and I had a spray of it on and it, the next day, like it's the end of the day and I still smell it on here. It is that potent, but in a good way. It just really lasts a long time. So even though it's expensive, it'll last you for years because you need so little of it. It's probably the best perfume I've ever smelled in my life. I'm gonna spray one on today. It's so good. So let me know in the comments below, what are your favorite products from 2023? So I can check them out. If I haven't bought it yet, I may, if you guys keep saying it's really good. So let me know in the comments, what are your favorites? I hope you guys have an amazing year this year. Stay happy and healthy and safe, you all. And I will see you soon. Bye.